Hello and welcome to another edition of the Moving Iron Podcast. This podcast is proudly provided by Axon, helping dealers move more iron for almost 100 years. Find out more at axontire.com. Axon was started almost 100 years ago out of a passion for keeping agriculture moving. It's that same passion that drives them today. With a vision for a better experience for both farmer and dealer, they set out to create a better way to move more iron. When you partner with Axon, you get immediate access to a full range of products and solutions designed to meet the complex needs of today's grower. Axon carries all major brands and sizes of tires, wheels, and tracks. From custom colors and sizes to fully customized wheels, you can have the solution for virtually any problem today's farmer is trying to solve. To find more or become an Axon dealer, please visit axontire.com. Moving iron in the 21st century. Hardworking people working hard for you and me. Time and time again Through the years you'll find us here Moving iron Hey, it's Jacqueline Kowalski with the Herd Book Ag Media giving you your Moving Iron Ag news update this very cold and snowy third week of February. According to the Department of Agriculture, U.S. exports to China fell $7.75 billion short of Phase 1 trade deal target. This original target was set by former President Donald Trump and Beijing. Despite an increase in corn and soybean purchases made, missing the target had been expected by experts in recent times. A trade official told Reuters that while Biden should keep pressure on China, he is not likely to further negotiations with Beijing. Shipping containers continue to be a major global issue, with a shortage in many countries, some struggling with an export backup and others in need of more imports. The issue is that China has been recovering fast from COVID-19 and has revved up their exports, and likewise are paying pretty big premiums for containers, making it oddly more profitable for them to return them empty rather than fill them with the exports they were supposed to be picking up, according to the Financial Post. International grain merchants are currently struggling with this issue and fighting to secure container space. And while we're talking about global issues, in Asia, African swine fever continues to rage. In fact, a new strain of the virus popped up in China just last month with Hong Kong now testing. This is the first time in two years Hong Kong found ASF in one of its domestic herd, with 3,000 hogs ordered to be called by authorities. And Hong Kong isn't alone. There's more cases that continue to pop up in other Asian countries as well, including South Korea, Cambodia, and Indonesia, most of this being with wild boars spreading the disease. As of right now, the U.S. is safe, but USDA is making sure they are being extremely cautious to safeguard current U.S. swine herds and continuing to tackle our own feral swine issues. The current deep freeze that has grabbed hold of the country has left about 5 million Americans without power and is also impeding shipments of corn, soybeans, and even shutting down some meat meat plants, and ethanol production. Tyson Foods was among the companies forced to shut down in Texas, and other companies, including Cargill and ADM, have slowed their productions down due to gas shortages in those parts of the country. A former Iowa co-op manager is now facing prison time for a scandal in which he was spiking his soybean sales with oats. The USDA inspected both South Dakota and Iowa. South Dakota was who had purchased the grains in Iowa, where they had originated from, found that 88,000 bushels, which were supposedly supposed to be 100% soybeans, only contained about 34,000 bushels of soybeans, with the rest being oats. Now is a good time to be technologically advanced and an entrepreneur in agriculture, as the ag tech sector is rapidly rising. Global spending on quote-unquote smart or agritech type devices and systems, companies, etc. is projected to triple in revenue by 2025, getting to $15.3 billion according to BI Intelligent Research. According to Crunchbase, over $4 billion was invested in the ag tech sector by venture capitalists within the last two years alone. By August of last year, that number was up another $2.6 billion already, and the year hadn't even closed yet. 
Now, this is good news for startups and for farmers wanting to get their hands on these kinds of technologies earlier on. But again, we are still in our ongoing discussion about data security and ownership. All right, and that should catch y'all up for this third week of February 2021. Stay warm and stay safe, y'all. This new segment was brought to you by the Herdbook Ag Media, serving all your agribusiness writing, communication, and media needs. Find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or our company website, the-herdbook.com, because I'd love to work with you. You want to have a meaningful, competitive advantage to help sell more equipment. Whether you represent the sales, parts, or management department of an implement dealership, there's a surprising amount of complexity when it comes to tire, wheel, and track technology. Let Axon worry about that so you can get back to supporting your customers. Axon has leveraged years of experience to create a streamlined process that gives you a proven path to help today's grower and sell more equipment. The roots of their organization go back almost 100 years to the invention of the rubber tractor tire. Supporting agriculture is the number one driver of Axon from product development through sales and service. To find more or become an Axon dealer, head over to axontire.com. Moving higher in the 21st century. Hard